Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. Today is Monday, May 11th, and here is a picture of things we are missing. I'm missing the dome, and I wondered if you were too. Students, we have a great uh, contest from leadership, draw an animal. You must make a drawing of an animal. It has to be your own work, it has to be on paper. You can use color or not, any medium is okay. In order to do this, you have to sign up using this form right here. You can use this right off the slide deck. Uh, you can make one entry only and send your entry to Lucci Pasquale or Neath Loath right there. Neath Loath right there. So you need to sign up today or tomorrow using this bit.ly and then you can send out your, um, your pictures to Lucci or Neath. Winners will be announced on the 26th, and there is a first, second, and third prize. Thank you, leadership. Wanted to let you know about the Social Sunshine Group as a club working to promote mental health and more. Olivia Nash and Amara, Amari Forney have started this organization, and here is a place where you can go to make some friends, talk about some concerns you might have, or just to reach out to someone else. Join the Google Classroom using this code right here, and you can be a part of Social Sunshine. Thank you, Amari and Olivia. Students want to let you know that you can continue to pick up meals at all of the locations we've talked about before, but now, due to a partnership with a North Bay catering company, you can also pick up dinner. So you get all three meals at Hill, Hamilton, Linwood, Loma Verde, or Olive. This will be great. Make sure you take a break and go pick up some really good food. And finally, students, um, Ms. Baraban has sent this little um, link along to remind you that sending an email is different than sending a text. So just as we learn to write business letters, we also need to learn to write effective emails. And so she'd like us to take a look at this little movie. So let's do that. All right, here we go. So remember, when you're writing an email to a teacher, it's just like writing a business letter, not like writing a text. Use a salutation. Address your teacher by name. So, Dear Ms. Ergubian is a good example of a salutation. Be specific about your subject because sometimes teachers are getting 50 emails a day. So you want to make sure that the subject line is clear. Period 3, Science Journal is a good example. Keep your email to the point. If you need to talk a lot, you should probably make a phone call instead. State exactly what you need help with, be polite, and use appropriate language. If you have a personal issue or you're angry about something, it's really better to talk to someone in person, or well, in this case, on the phone, or maybe through a Zoom session. And finally, don't use texting language. When you use all caps like this, it's like yelling at your teacher, and you would never do that. So be careful about using the language of use English just as you would in a business letter. Sign and proofread your email. Make sure you read it over to make sure that it makes, the, makes sense and that the words are spelled right. Every sentence should have a capital letter, and every sentence should end with some punctuation. So, do your very best to write a nice email. It's good practice for you for a life skill, and it helps your teachers to understand what your request or communication is about. Using we'll close that out, and then here we go. Let's finish our let's finish our day with just discussing what you're going to be up to today. Please get into your math lesson by nine o'clock. You have a science lesson at eleven and electives at one. Students, make it a great day.